So that sets up a tougher second shot, missing the fairway with the drive, now in the rough. Frank, in golf, as we know, there's short grass and there's long grass. We all want to be in that short grass, but it doesn't always work out that way. So what's the most important element from the shot, from the rough? You have to be a little bit more conservative first and foremost because you can't guarantee a perfect strike out of the long grass. So therefore, you have to look around, around the greens, maybe short to the right, to the left, and realize what's involved and also just give yourself a slightly bigger target. Oh, it looked like he caught a flyer right there, Frank. Well, I don't know what he caught, but this is way too much. Just averted danger right there. So close. Why does he have all the luck? Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the reed. So into red figures at one under. These putts keep the round together. One over for the day. Well, Frank, as we zero in on this hole, you can see plainly that it requires a, a well, should we say... A good head. A heady approach. That's right. Skull on the right will remind you of that enormous feature there on the right side. And that's one of the things about the short par four is there's so many little architectural features you'll, you'll follow along the way. Skinny fairway, just bends a little to the left like a cutlass. And then once you get up on the green, it's the Jolly Roger is the shape of the green. Skull and crossbones. Right. And plus the bunkers, they don't look like normal bunkers, Rich. You know, what, what happened here, Frank? Well, they say there's treasure on this island, and those, well, they were man-made. They were digging for anything other than sand. Well, this one's sweet, Frank. Super. Frank couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, just the lie there, too. It is sitting up like it's teed up. Frank, any of the holes at Treasure Island remind you of anything on the PG Tour? There's a feeling, actually, on some of these holes, and the feeling's very reminiscent to standing on the 17th hole at TPC Sawgrass, the island green. The green is up above, and this will play at least a club longer. Moving a little bit to the right. Hmm, just a beautiful approach shot. Frank, what makes this downhill shot a little trickier in terms of club selection and, and setup? Because of the nature of the downhill, that ball's just going to come out a little lower. So you've got to take that into consideration. It might run a little more on the back end. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green.
really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Good score going, now at two under par. This will be a birdie if it drops. Drops it, and he's at even par. Frank, hopefully top of your game and top of the world from this point at the sixth. Huge elevation here, Rich. So obviously that tee shot is going to go that much further off the elevation. And that's really the goal. Tee it high, let it fly a little. Keep it uh, left of the, the needle top mountain on that left side. And, and really, you won't have much left on this uh, fairly short par four. There's something about a well-hit shot. Good strike, good lie, good chance to attack the pin. Paying attention like a little kid at school, Frank. That baby's sitting up. Sitting up? It's got the best view as well. You don't even need binoculars from where that ball is. Superb shot. Well, that's uh, it's as good as it's going to get. There's going to be no worries about making that one. Chance to set himself up for a good scoring opportunity with his second shot here. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Well done, and three under for the day. So a tester from four feet. There is a birdie, and he's now one under par. Here's the second par five on the front nine. It's the seventh. Frank, what's the strategy here? What a hole. I think when you stand on this tee, you really have to accept the fact that it's going to take you three shots to get here, no matter how good you are. Not really worth the go, because you'd have to hit some sort of monumental second shot that got up very, very quickly. And chances are you won't get a flat lie on this fairway. It is anything other than straight and anything other than level. That is burning through the atmosphere. Look at that thing, it's got a tail on it. Yeah, that's like a rocket ship. That one was launched by NASA. That's a ginormous tee shot.
Uh, Tom Weisskopf was one of my idols growing up. I loved the way he swung. That swing right there reminds me of my idol. Well, looks like Rory McIlroy, Frank, sticking the follow through. Frank, he is one of the longest hitters in the game, but at some point, you have to hit a fairway. Yeah, he's uh, certainly not the straightest. I think that was the bit you're going to put in the middle. Frankie's cranking it and banking it. Giant drives, a boatload of birdies. What a round. Yeah, these are the days you just dream for. Um, we know golf's not that easy, but on a day like today, savor it and just keep going. Keep doing it. Well, you can hear it right off the center of the club face. This has a chance to be close. Beautiful shot. That is tight. Unbelievable. That is one to savor for the rest of the round. Well, he's going to have to hit the same club a lot harder or just hit another one. Frank putting it all together today. What a nice performance. It's been like a clinic so far. This one's going left, Rich. Not knocking down the flag stick here, but looks as though it will find the green. Just want to nestle this one down to within a couple of feet. Pretty good stroke right there, just to hit it through the break. Well, it's that sort of distance. If it goes in, it's a bonus. From about eight feet. Putting a good round together now at four under. Playing his third here at the par five. Minus three now for the round. Eighth hole's a par three, Frank, with a most unusual green. I'm really cross at this hole, Rich. 